Before we begin, we're going to have uh, Vince Coakley come up and give the invocation. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, we're so thankful for this opportunity to come together. Thank you for bringing us all safely here. Just thank you for the birth of the idea of this particular event. And thank you for all that have worked so hard to prepare it. Lord, I pray that you'll give us, every single one of us, readiness of mind to receive, to communicate. But beyond that, I pray, Lord, that the things that are communicated here would catch fire, that there would be a multiplication of activism, of energy, of relationship, of networking, that you would advance these things during the time that we are here today. We just pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hi. Can you hear me okay? Yes? Okay, great. Thanks. Good morning and welcome to our second annual Citizens in Action Palmetto Panel Conference. We want to thank you for making the uh, effort to come to Clemson today. I know it's a drive for some of you and I want to thank you for coming out. You know, this really shows your commitment to our state and your desire to preserve our freedoms and our security. My name is Diane Hardy and last year, Stacy and I saw a need for a conference focused specifically on South Carolina and the issues critical to our state. So we created and hosted the Palmetto Panel last April. Now, as you can imagine, for two moms with little to no experience of doing anything like this, it was quite an endeavor. But we feel so strongly that this information about our state and we care so much about our state that we felt that it was worth making it um, an annual event. You know, we can have so much more of an impact on our state than on our federal government. We tend to focus so much on what's going on in cable news and what's happening in Washington. And really, as, as citizens, we don't have a strong impact there. But you truly can have an impact at the state level and, of course, especially at the local level. So that's why we felt the need for us to gather today. And it's important to understand that we are grassroots. Um, it's completely a citizen-led conference. Now, the audiovisual today is donated and provided by uh, Scott Cooper and High Frontier. And we so thank them for that effort. We could not do this without them. So. Uh, we mentioned the live streaming. This event is live streamed, but we did need to make a few changes. It is now going to be live streamed through palmettopanel.com. So um, for the folks at home, it, it's palmettopanel.com, and then you hit the live stream button. And what we could do is you can spread that through social media by hashtagging Palmetto Panel to drive people to the live stream at palmettopanel.com. So since this event is um, completely citizen-led, we do not accept any sponsorships or money from corporate sponsors or from any political sponsors. So the goal of this event, we've outlined three things that we'd like to accomplish today. We'd like to um, provide you with new and accurate information on a variety of subjects, things that the, maybe the uh, media is not covering. We hope this conference, you will, learn, you will learn today directly from South Carolina leaders and from national experts. And we hope that something you learn today will carry forth and um, inspire you to want to pursue. And we want you to have um, time to network. Uh, the unique thing about this conference is several of our speakers will be staying throughout the day. So you'll have time to network with fellows, uh, you know, your fellow citizens and also with the, uh, with the experts and the speakers today. As some of you may know, 
the very first sentence of our South Carolina state constitution reads, all political power is invested in and derived from the people only. So if you think about that, all the political power is invested in and derived from the people only. You'll hear later this morning that it is an ingredient, a real necessary ingredient, ingredient to maintaining the republic is for us to have citizen engagement and to have an educated citizenry on the issues. I want to warn you that for some of you, um, it's possible that some of what you hear today may be a little disturbing. But as we know, putting our heads in the sand will not be in the best interest of South Carolina or our children. So that is why this weekend is, is about more than education. This weekend is also about training. So you will have the necessary skills to work with our elected officials and to influence the changes necessary in our state. We want to uh, strengthen personal and economic freedom in the Palmetto State. And so we offer this optional citizen training tomorrow. It will take place in the boardroom across the hall. And it starts at 10 o'clock, and it's through the Center for Self-Governance. You will hear later from Bill Ames, the instructor with the Center for Self-Governance, and he'll tell you more about that. But it starts at 10, and it goes about maybe five or six hours, but you will have lunch at the restaurant here. It's phenomenal training. Stacy and I and several in the room have taken it. So before we introduce our first guest, just a few um, housekeeping items. I ask you to please silence your cell phones. The restrooms are out to the right and down the hall to the right. Uh, in your convention bags, you will have a little three by five cards. And we ask that as you're, as you're listening to the speakers, if you think of a question you would like to ask them, just write it on the three by five card. We have a basket outside where you can place the cards. And at the end of the day, we're going to have a panel Q&A up here with the speakers. And we'll be asking your questions then. We purposely put in um, frequent breaks throughout the day. We're hoping that you'll take time to network with uh, fellow South Carolinians and also chat with the speakers. And we have rented the boardroom also across the way. So when we have lunch or any time, you can go in the boardroom um, across